Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You're in for a treat today. The unboxing and first flight review of the DJI Mavic Air 2. I don't know why I had trouble saying that sentence. Ladies and begin. Shout out to Amazon Prime. Oh. Listen, there's two companies that I think do great with their boxing and packaging. That's Apple and DJI. They both go for the experience of it. You even open up like an Apple Watch and you think you're about to join Star Trek. Pretty solid, pretty heavy. I forgot to mention, I got the Mavic Air 2 Fly More Combo, which will set you back $1,064.57. I don't wanna bore you too much outside of the unboxing, but the reason that I got this one is because sadly, I crashed my Mavic Pro 2 into the ocean. had a battery air on a job and unfortunately Smithers 2 went down and was never seen again. Rest in peace. So I still have to finish that job so I was forced into a situation. I have to finish the job and within a week and I needed to get something to do that. Back to the unboxing. Included the travel bag, the aircraft, the remote controller, the RC cable times three, flight battery times three, power adapter, AC power cable, six propellers, charging hub, battery to power bank adapter, ND filter set, US cables, control stick times two, manuals, which I always read. Whew. Oh, that is nice. Get your peepers all along that. That is a nice bag. I like it actually more than the uh, Mavic Pro 2 bag. Oh yeah, this is like a pouch. I could put it onto something. The other one just looked like a weird man purse for the Mavic Pro 2 that you would like take to a Pokemon competition. Like you just strap it over and that's what you're gonna use in your Pokemon tournament. Yes, I have been to a couple of those while showing. All right. Ooh, elegant. Smells kind of like a magic marker. A weird flex that these were just in a weird little bag. I don't know why I feel like that. I like the Mavic Pro 2, how they had them in kind of like a little cardboard case. They felt a little sturdier, but yep, that's a propeller, all right. All right, got the manuals and quick start guide. Very cool, won't read you. All right, ooh, I like the curve up of the bag. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice. Pull that drone out, got a little weight to it, you know. Definitely not as heavy as the Mavic Pro 2, rest in peace. Uh, pretty lightweight, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, just from the footage that I've seen of this, it's pretty high quality. Uh, everything coming out, cameras are great right now. It's a great time to be alive. I see this being a good drone for like the prosumer where you wanna do some professional work with it, but also be able to throw it in the bag, not be too worried about it when you go out to you know the mountains or the beach filming projects. And just the size of it. Think about, uh, think about the Phantoms. Like the fact that we've gone from that to this now that has everything rather than lugging around like a six pairs of shoes box. You know, that thing is huge. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say batteries. Boom. Nice batteries, one. Two, great packaging. Two extra batteries. Uh, I think the flight time, I thought I read it was 35 minutes on this, which is huge. So you can have an hour and a half safely. Just be careful over the ocean. The hub for the battery charger. Oh uh, yeah, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is different. Look at that. That is nice. I know with my original uh, Mavic that I had, the first one, power lines would make you lose it. This definitely feels like just a more simple way of flying. It feels comfortable in my hand. Uh, okay, so this pulls out. Giggity. So the phone will be on top and not on the bottom like the previous models. I like that. I like being like this rather than always like this. It was kind of, you know, it wasn't terrible, but I see this being an improvement. Getting the new controller is what made me pretty excited about it. What else we got? Three battery charging hub. Dope. Again, I think it's an improvement over even the Mavic Pro 2. Uh, rest in peace. Oh, kind of a nice foam little place for you to put 
the drone so it fits in nice and snug. Uh, adapter for the remote for the Android peasants people out there. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's like you're giving someone ecstasy at a party. I think it's really cool that they included this in this because it's not included in the Mavic Pro 2. This Fly More combo kit is all you need. Like you don't really need anything else uh, for anything for flying this be cool if they could float. What's cool about the DJI batteries is that if you get yourself in a pinch, whether it's a phone, whether it's the controller or something, you can actually turn your batteries into a USB charger. Uh, I think this is currently probably the best drone for the money on the market if you're gonna find a balance between professional level and price point. You can't beat it. Basically for $1,050, you can have everything you need to film very high quality drone work. And this is all cool and everything unboxing, but we need to see how it flies. Let's hit the sky, boys and ladies.